everyone, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So today is kind of a different video for Feb Regency. One of the prompts is to read a Regency era poem and I thought I'd share a poem by one of my favorite Regency era poets, William Wordsworth. So hopefully this is enjoyable. <laughs> If you want more of these, let me know down below. And yeah, let's just jump in. So the poem I have is Stargazers, and this was written in the early 1800s. What crowd is this? What have we here? We must not pass it by. A telescope upon its frame and pointed to the sky. Long is it as a barber's pole or mast of little boat some little pleasure skiff that doth on Thames's waters float. The showman chooses well his place to Leicester's busy square, and he's as happy in his night, for the heavens are blue and fair. Calm though impatient is the crowd, each is ready with the fee, and envies him that's looking what an insight it must be. Yet showman where can lie the cause, shall thy implement have blame, a boaster that, when he is tried, fails and is put to shame. Or is it good as others are, and be their f eyes in fault? Their eyes are mine's, or finally is this resplendent vault? Is nothing of that radiant pomp so good as we have here? Or gives a thing but small delight that never can be dear? The silver moon with all her veils and hills of mightiest fame do they betray us when they're seen, and are they but a name? Or is it rather that conceit rapacious is and strong, and bounty never yields so much, but it seems to do her wrong? Or is it that when human souls a journey long have had, and are returned unto themselves, they cannot but be sad? Or must we be constrained to think that these spectators brood, poor in a state, of manners base, men of the multitude, have souls which never yet have risen, and therefore prostrate lie. No, no, this cannot be. Men thirst for power and majesty. Does then a deep and earnest thought the blissful mind employ of him who gazes, or has gazed, a grave and steady joy, that doth reject all show of pride, admits no outward sign, because not of this noisy world, but silent and divine. Whatever be the cause, tis sure that they who pry and pour seem to meet with little game, seem less happy than before. One after one they take their turns, nor have I one espied, that doth not slackly go away as if dissatisfied. <laughs> 